what was it, Saturday's episode, we had Mason on. What do you think about the whole... Um, Sexual transmutation? So we, so we had a, a, a naturalist who, um, entrepreneur, who was really, really gung-ho about trying to get back to nature. Mm -hmm. Went 181 days without masturbating. Doesn't think men should do it. Every time he feels the urge, he does 20 push-ups. And then, what was it? Transmutating sexual the sexual transmutation. Energy? So, yeah. like, when you and your partner come, like, you think, like, you almost, like, use it as manifestation. You think oh, yeah. about positive yeah. shit you want. Sex stuff magic. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah, sex magic. You sex fuck magic. with that? Yeah. It's totally, I mean, in my experience, in experience? <laughs> it's totally real. And I've done it a few what times. What type yeah. of experience are we yeah. talking like you about? Can do Let's it. get super specific <laughs> for our <laughs> listeners, please. So you can do it by yourself. And the idea, um, it it's kind of based in like quantum theory a little bit. Joe Dispenza does it, but he doesn't have a sexual aspect to it when he does his seminars. But it's moving um, the energy base from your lowest chakra your root chakra and the root chakra is associated with survive survival pleasure fundamental needs safety that kind of a thing so that's a lot of charge right which is kind of what it sounds like that other guy was talking about it's a, an energy to move sidebar what is a chakra different energy points throughout your body okay yeah it so kind of goes back into chi which we were talking about the other day too so the idea is we that we weren't talking the other day we right, weren't talking the other day. No, we weren't talking the, the other day. No. Breaking kayfabe over we're here. We're friends. We talk. So oh, yeah, when right, we were when right. we were texting, that's we were talking correct. about meridians and energy centers. But yeah, so the idea is moving energy from your um, root Loins. chakra, which is also like creative energy, right? You literally, we literally create humans through that chakra. So moving the creative energy from your root all the way up to your crown, and you do that as you start feel like to feel that build up you move it up you move it up you move it up and you move it out and then at your peak pleasure or climax it's when you send out your desires to god or the universe this is the thing that i want and then the most important part is afterwards like that come down it's like you lay there and you wait and it's almost like a meditation so you try to clear your mind like shavasana and just see what comes to you and sometimes you'll have like lightning hit and you'll have this idea or you'll have this creative um inspiration or you get a download or whatever it is but it's kind of like this aha and then you can kind of journal and you wait and see and i'm telling you when i have done it almost every single time the thing has happened now this is some manifesting i can get on board with but yeah you could do it together too and um <laughs> whoa 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 no thanks i mean oh, well you not mean, you oh, like right, right. With, yeah, the, right. with a lady friend if yeah, you like yeah, yeah. thanks yeah thanks <laughs> that's the way it works best i hear <laughs> No, maybe not for Christian. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, there's a lot of conflicting literature when it comes to like semen retention and men not orgasming because so Dr. David Lay, he wrote Ethical Porn for Dicks, and he said that the minimum amount of times that a guy should orgasm a month is like, I wanted to say it's like 23 or 28, and this is for prostate health, this is anti-cancer, this is anti-aging, it actually helps your t testosterone production. Um, Dr. Nicole Prousey is also a sex researcher, and she is a big advocate, advocate for men climaxing um she says that there's a positive relationship between that and an increase in testosterone and what's she, her name dr nicole prousey P well don't just talk about it <laughs> well <laughs> maybe you could go and sign up for a research uh, session who was she the can sex therapist you. you had on chatting with candace she was crying I've had a lot. The last one you're talking about is uh, BB Brzozowski. Brzo yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah. she's intense, man. You, the, what you said, she's I intense. told Eric what you said, and yeah. you're like, I think she's got. <laughs> she's a praying mantis, oh, and if yeah. you go under her bed, it's just gonna be bodies. It's and gonna I was be like, the, oh the my heads God. of all of her, of her ex lovers. <laughs> yeah, she's a black she's widow. Got, yeah, <laughs> she's got, she's got a. She got black widow energy. She's got a trophy case under there. <laughs> yeah, she's like, her jaw, her mandible comes out. She's intense, man. That's hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can tame her. <laughs> I, the, yeah, she's real dangerous. Maybe for a lesser man. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. That chakra stuff. I mean, he said the same thing. He said the same thing. The idea, hey, look, I just, uh, I, I, I don't know. I've never thought about anything in the moment of i just you know maybe next time i'm like try it and it, it sounds counterproductive like it's going to inhibit your ability to enjoy it or it's going to impede on your orgasm and it's not for me it actually makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. i don't but know I why like it would be. yeah it's like you're focusing on something else you're not letting your mind wander you're totally present because you're like moving energy up so you almost feel that, the moving energy more. up part i don't totally uh have a grasp on yet can you explain that a little more so 
as you get like aroused and as you're with someone like you start it's not just flat right like you have build-ups and if you've ever done like edging or anything like that right like there's this build-up and you can kind of bring it down you can kind of bring it down so it's that feeling of once you start getting turned on and you can start by just like doing you know just touching yourself on your arms like it doesn't have to necessarily be super explicit you take it wherever you and your body want to go um, but you'll start to feel like warm right and then you can feel that energy and you can actively move it up and so a a really good mm. mental exercise to do it if it seems um, kind of I don't know obtuse is like you picture two serpents and it's gonna be probably a little bit weirder for a dude than it is for a woman but you picture them kind of at your root chakra and then them like serpenting up through your body and it's crazy because when I've done this like you do like you feel this swirling kind of go up and up you want to focus up. it on those chakras mm -hmm. like kind of in the middle yeah, right. all the way As up. As it raises up. Yeah, exactly. So you do root, and most people like don't have all of them memorized. So you can do root, you mm. can do solar plexus, um, heart, and then crown. So you okay. can only do a couple. If you mm -hmm. want to time it up right, that you're crowning. When and your climax. Climax. Mm -hmm. All right. That'd be a lot better for me to think about. Well, that. I've got a lot of homework to do. Yeah, right. The whole time I've been having sex, I'm just like. Don't crush her. Don't come. Don't crush her. Don't come. Don't crush her. Don't crush her. Don't come. Don't crush her. Don't come. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about two serpents and this poor girl's gonna die. <laughs> so, She'll be fine. Yeah, but one yeah. of us will be, she and that's the only one that matters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, she knows what she signed up for. Yeah, yeah, they got waivers. It's all good. <laughs> oh my 